guys, I'll be teaching you how to create your own, very own uh, DIY perfect cut crease brush. I know a lot of us can never really find like the perfect brush for our eye shape. I'm going to be teaching you guys this amazing hack that I found. Amazing hack that I learned by the by the influencer Kiki Adam. She's here on YouTube. I will link her video below because it is amazing and I'm so happy I found her channel, you guys. And it's so crazy, you guys, that her video popped out of my feed because I was talking the other day, as you guys know, on my Instagram that I couldn't find a perfect brush for my crease. So here was Kiki to save our lives, you guys with this amazing hack which I'm going to be showing you guys how to do um, in case you haven't watched that video or don't know or want to know so let's get right into it this is some of the stuff that are you practically would need or you can use to, to make the hack that we're going to be doing so we're gonna use some scissors because we're gonna be cutting some stuff we also gonna be using some of the brushes that I'm, I usually use for my cut crease which are these so you definitely want to try this first with some brushes that you don't really use just in case you know you mess them up and you never tried this um, hack before you definitely want to use some brushes that you don't really use um, just in case you know just to be safe I'm also going to be using some eyeshadow primer glitter glue or you can use um, lash glue as well and again you guys let's just get right into it because this is so exciting and I'm so 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 stoked to try this so the first thing I'm gonna grab is the brush that I will be using which is this one this is very compact which is why I want to use this one I don't really have a crease crease brush so I'm gonna like make my own basically so I'm gonna go ahead and first take some eyeshadow primer you definitely let's just put this away you can use any eyeshadow primer you have, you guys. You can use any glue you want. You just want to saturate your brush first because we're going to be shaping the brush first with... It's easier when it's saturated with a with product in. Like, it's easier to manage the brush and make it, like, super, super flat. And you guys know I always do this, by the way, when I'm doing also my, my brows. If you guys have been following me for a while, I always pinch the brush, the tip of the brush, to make it way flatter. So you can see this one is already becoming, like, way way flatter than it was before so again you just want to make sure the the brush is saturated and you know you can also use your the back of your hand as well to so just flatten the brush also so again you already can see it's taking shape so i'm gonna let lay that down just a little bit to to dry it up just so it could dry it up a little bit and i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the other brushes and the reason why I'm using this type of brushes, you guys, is because they're very, like, they're very compacted with hair. And I also like the shape of the brush as well. It's, like, perfectly. We almost don't need to cut anything there. But we're going to see once uh, we're done with it. Um, so, yeah. And I also like smaller brushes for my cut crease because I don't feel like I have, like, big eyes. So, I don't know. I just like more precise stuff. So, yeah. But we, ha we have here a different size that I'm going to show you how to do. And, again, we're just repeating the same process, you guys. Again, we're letting those other brushes um, dry it up. So, you you just want to saturate your brush with a product and this is just going to help flatten the brush right away as you can see the brush the brush is already kind of getting uh, flattening a little bit and this is also going to help with maintaining the brush with inside to maintain and hold itself and not easily become apart when you apply when you're using it on your eyes or even when you like cleaning it and stuff like that so first thing you uh, once again you guys you want to let your brushes really like kind of like soak that in and i'm also going to be using a little napkin like this you guys just to press on the tip of the brush because remember we want the brush to be really really flattened so you don't want to like swipe off the product either you guys you just want to flatten the brush so just press 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 like that just press the brush and of course you want to let that brush dry it as well again just help it helping the brush to become flatter and you can do this step you guys even with concealer so again once you let your brush just sit there for like maybe five minutes or so i'm gonna go ahead and take some I'm gonna go ahead and take some glitter glue and I'm gonna start swiping that onto the brush. This is what's going to help and hold the brush. So again, I'm just swiping and swiping and swiping it. And I kind of gonna wanna get it in between there too. So it could hold up the brush for within and this you guys this glitter glue i'm just using it basically as a base because i really want this to to kind of stick the hair all together and make a very flat defined brush so as you can see i'm just swiping it on there making sure the brush is basically saturated with all the products i'm just gonna go ahead and let this sit a little bit just so i can go ahead and go back and push and pinch the brush to make it flatter you can also add some like air to this so it could dry faster so i'm just gonna use my fingers to start 
flatten in the brush okay you guys so I think it's so much better when you use your fingers just because the, the actually the napkin it just takes a lot of the product away so I'm just gonna be using my finger and you guys I'm already loving how it's doing the job like look at this this is just like a perfect rounded shape for a cut crease look at that and look how thin it is it's crazy how this works and of course once your brush is like completely flattened you want to go ahead and start putting glue so it can stay like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and use some of this house of lashes glue and this has a little brush and this it makes it so easy just to brush it right on top And you guys, I'm just letting the brush get a little tacky to then press onto it. And then of course, you want to let go go ahead and let that dry. And you guys, for this one, this is from Shop Miss A. And I actually ended up using like concealer because it was already saturated with concealer. And then I applied the glue and it actually worked just as fine as well. So this is how my brushes ended up looking, you guys. They're very, very flat now. And I'm going to show you guys a little demo on how to use these. <laughs> 